Out of the breaking news overnight, the Artemis 1 rocket finally blasted off on a trip to bring us back to the moon. Transportation correspondent Gio Panini is watching live from the Kennedy Space Center. Good morning, Gio. Hey, George, good morning. It was a stunning launch, and you could really feel the power of that rocket as it lifted off there. Now the Orion capsule is on the way to the moon with America making history yet again. Three, two, one. Overnight, after three delays since August, a major breakthrough in space exploration. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The most powerful rocket in the world, the Space Launch System, propelling the Orion capsule toward the moon with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. Orion already feeding back stunning images of the Earth from space. It'll spend 26 days getting to the moon, orbiting it, then returning to Earth, splashing down off the coast of San Diego on December 11th. Launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson, the first female launch director, taking in the moment. On behalf of all the men and women across our great nation who have worked to bring this hardware together to make this day possible, and for the Artemis generation, this is for you. Many this morning believe that Artemis generation can change the world. This is the first step, this test mission, to put the first woman, the first person of color on the moon, on the next missions. And so, I mean, the world will never be the same. And you know, we've only really explored a very small part of the moon as it is. There is still so much more research to do there. But even so, eventually, the whole plan is to use the moon as a sort of layover spot so that humans can travel farther and farther into the universe and get to Mars, guys. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. We love your enthusiasm, Gio. I can see Gio oh. in the spacesuit when he was saying that. Really that would make him happier with that to be in on the Artemis one. <laughs> Good for you, Gio. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.